someday my house will look like this. But for now, I have $10, so. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to the dream board video, baby. Yup, that's me, and if you already knew that, you also probably already know about my magical dream boards. Something I've become quite famous for over the years. Mostly because you guys have watched my life change pretty much live on camera. <laughs> From DIY marble floors to real marble floors, broke bench tips to forms. Everything from new cars, new homes, fantasy vacations all around the world. So what's the secret? Well, it's actually not so secret. The whole idea is based on the power of manifesting. The age old concept that if you believe in it, it's yours. So how do I make my dream boards and how do I make them all come true? Here we go, quick tips to make your broke hoe into a rich bitch. <laughs> well, that's where we'll begin. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody! Can you believe it? 2024. That doesn't even sound like a real year. So even though today is the last day of the year, it is one of my favorite days of the year, mood board day. I have been making these mood board videos forever, ever. Remember when I put start a YouTube channel on it? Me too. Seems like yesterday. So we got princess pajama party vibes in here. We got a bathrobe, get all the stuff we need on the floor over there. So uh, grab your fantasies and get in losers. We're making mood boards. All right, so mood board ingredients. What you need is a piece of poster. However, today my poster is actually a shopping bag because I went to like five CVSs and none of them had black poster board. What are you gonna do? The fact that I have this more readily available in my house than poster board is hilarious. Proof the mood boards work. <laughs> so we got our poster board. We also need scissors or one of these really cool cutting thingies, some tape, and most importantly, inspo photos. I'll go through all of these more in a minute and explain them all in detail, but I get these printed at CVS. But basically think about like Pinterest. Whatever it is that inspires you the most, that's what you wanna put on the board. My Pinterest is literally just like full of random things that inspire me that I like to look at. So like I said, just think about printing it out. Um, and then that is basically what you want on your board. Visions for your life and things that inspire you. Anything at all. Like this, hmm? Stuff to inspire you. But before we get to these, the number one thing that you need for the mood board is a central quote. So for your central quote, you just kind of want to think, what is the vibe of your year? Just kind of think of it as like your guiding principle for the year, you know? The theme of 2024, what do you want the overarching vibe to be? What do you want out of life, you know? I still have all of my mood boards, by the way. Can you believe this? This is nine years and counting of making these puppies. <gasps> Crazy my central quote of my first one. What if it doesn't come true? Ah, uh, but what if it does? Of course you guys remember that one. That's the most iconic one of all. It's on my keychains, my necklaces, my ornaments. It's literally everywhere all over my life because it means a lot to me, you know? It's the quote that started it all. Then the next year I did live the life you imagined. 2018 was go get what you dream of. 2019 was become the you of your dreams. That was more like a year about self-improvement. 2020 to the fullest. One of my personal favorites, a la folie, to insanity. Which yes, is why I have this tattoo. <laughs> 2022 was dreamland. Last year's was the French version of Once Upon a Dream. I have dreamed it. And this year's quote is Saint Laurent. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine, okay, no. Um, this year's quote is this. The time of my life. This is the time of my life era. I actually came up with this at the Eras Tour um, <laughs> over the summer and I was just thinking to myself, my God, I am having the time of my life right now and I want that to be the core of every day of my life. These are gonna be the days I'll tell stories about when I'm an old lady and I wanna make sure I have some damn good stories. Do I have a silver hair on my neck? Kind of. Stop it. I'm just like, okay guys. Stop. So I'm gonna make sure that I am out here having the time of my life with my life. Wait to be a hundred. It's gonna be so good. Literally, it's gonna be <laughs> my house full of antiques I bought when I was 29. <laughs> Perfect, so now that you have your center quote, you have to decorate obviously what's around it. What do you put there? Literally anything you want. Anything that inspires you can go on the board. Think of it as like your version of a printed Pinterest. I don't know if you guys all have Pinterest. I'm obsessed with my Pinterest. I literally love it. I just pin stuff all day long. It's like, I'm so basic, I know, but it's so fun. So yeah, just think of it as your Pinterest board come to life. What do you like to look at? What inspires you? What resonates with you 
for what you want and inspires you to chase your goals. Who do you want to be? Where do you want to live? What do you want to do? What's your fantasy? Hmm? So these are my pictures that I had printed. We'll start with this one. This is obviously a giant diamond necklace. You guys already know I have a jewelry line, 333. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been running it out of my kitchen as like a passion project side hustle, um, but this year I want to make it big. After all, when it comes to diamonds and other things, bigger is better. <laughs> Shh. Perfect. So some things are more abstract goals and other things are more verbatim. Like these are the chairs I want to put in the living room. I want these chairs so badly, you guys. Please shop the jewelry so I can afford them. <laughs> um, yeah, but this also represents like decorating the house, you know? I do still be sitting on the floor with no furniture. I do have two chandeliers and a piano though, so, you know, priorities. <laughs> and the only problem with giving an Amber a piano is if you give her one, she's gonna want another one. And like if you get them as a muffin, you know? The ballroom needs a piano, you guys. It just needs one. Imagine one behind me. Oh, yeah. I always have one or two like really materialistic, just silly things on the board, mostly because nothing motivates me quite like something that I want. So when I look at it, I see it, I think about it, and eventually I get it. Like you guys remember, of course, my infamous why do I own a harp harp? I'm the queen of owning instruments I can't play. Another piano only makes sense. Besides, it's your board, your life. What do you want? A princess castle? Go get it. Obviously, there's also more abstract things to put on the board, like this. This is my first year in my 30s, and I also want to be 30 flirty and thriving. Iconic. I always put travel, but you know what? I have never been on a private plane and I want to go on one. So let's go, baby. See what else we got here. Ta-da! Obviously, I want this to continue every year all over the place. This is just the best damn idea I ever came up with. I love the shopping world tour. This year I was so lucky I got to go all over the place. This is very broad, but like I said, get specific. Gotta go to Greece. I gotta go to Egypt and I've got to go on a safari. I actually put Greece and Egypt on my mood board in 2020, but... <sighs> oh, LOL, we all know how that went. So, <laughs> doing it this year, kids. See you there. Duh, let's live our best lives. This is not you asking the universe for what you want. This is you telling the universe very specifically exactly what you want. No shame in the game. Hell yeah. Get very specific with what it is you're asking for. Like on my older mood boards, I wasn't putting pictures of money. I was putting exact amounts of how much money I wanted. Photoshop your bank account. Visualize exactly what it would look like. And then when you accomplish it, print out the receipt. Do you guys see that? Look at this. <laughs> That's crazy. As my dad said once, it's like looking at a paper trail of your dreams coming true. You can do it with plane tickets too, you know? Like look at that. Go to London. Here's my London plane ticket. Do it for everything, anything you want. Mm-hmm, let's go. This is arguably the best photo I've ever seen in my life. Side of, of course, this one and these. She's been on my mood board since the very first one. Goals. I wanna literally frame this in the ballroom. <laughs> I like it that much. Mm-hmm. Well, hi, are you here to interrupt the mood boarding? What a handsome distraction. Do you remember when you were on my mood board? I do. Oh, I love you. Better than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> Another thing that I really like to put on mood boards is text messages that inspire me or DMs that you guys send me that make me smile. If you ever read this, remember, you will be the queen of the palace you always dream of. Wow. I always really liked that one. So for this year, um, this is absolutely the move. <laughs> this is one of my favorite DMs I ever got. I have wanted to put this on my mood board for years. Minimalism is dead, long live tacky extravagance, performative excess, artless luxury, and all forms of opulence for its own sake. Long live bad taste. Ah, oh, now that's a life motto. Yes, yes, yes. I want to turn this into this. Don't you think that'll just look great? Hmm? I really want to put crazy wallpaper like this all over these walls. I don't know, I'm crazy, why not? Wouldn't this be cool? Instead of these ugly doors? 
looking good. Quite frankly, I'm tired of the clothes in stores and I'd like to make my own. Custom Amber Shoal Couture, coming 2024. Now this is something interesting I've never done. Um, these are obviously not printed photos. These are gold playing cards that I weirdly just happen to have a deck of. So this is actually like a triple entendre and has lots of meanings to me. The playing cards themselves actually represent like gambling, taking a chance. Like I am going to roll the dice, play my hand, and I'm going to bet everything on myself. All in. So I'm about to play my ace. Ace of hearts, you know, A, amber, hearts, love. Queen of diamonds, obviously, duh the queen of diamonds. And the joker is just the wild card, you know? A little something unexpected. And that's how I'm gonna play my hand this year. All in. I just plugged in my hot glue gun. Um, if we're gonna go 3D, we're gonna go 3D. <sighs> oh, look at that. I just glued some of these onto my poster board. Yes. By the way, you guys, quick PSA. I just gotta throw this out there. <clears throat> the mood boards do not work unless you do. These are vision boards for your life to remind you to take action. You can't just slap a picture of the Eiffel Tower on your board and be like, yay, hopefully I'll get to Paris. And no, if you wanna to go to Paris, that means you gotta pick up extra shifts at work. You have to put aside money every month saving for your ticket. Quite frankly, the secret magic of the mood boards is you. So we'll put this on there too. But that's not to say there's not a little magic in the boards, because there is. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, I think he's done. Everything down to the very last detail. Not to mention, I think this is the first mood board ever that can also be a purse. <gasps> oh, fashion. All right, so now it's time for the ceremonious changing of the mood boards. I decided to wait till night to do this because I thought it would be more magical. Oh. When I tell you how many years I used to dream of this, wow. Anyways, like I said, you wanna hang your mood board in a place that you see every single day. So I have mine sitting right here. Ta-da! On my only piece of furniture that I have in here. You know, I think actually this year it's gonna go right there. <laughs> Perfect. Can't wait. It's time to take a little look back. What did I do? in 2023. Oh, how I missed seeing the world. The Shopping World Tour is officially back on. Oh my God, look at this. Welcome to Singapore. <laughs> Welcome to the Shopping World Tour. Christmas Spectacular. This week, I'm skipping around Vienna, Austria. This week, I'm skipping around Milan, Italy. This is literally my favorite place to shop in the whole world. And y'all know I travel the world to shop, so that's really saying something. I want to go to a winter wonderland next year. Is it this beautiful? Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous outside. <gasps> this is amazing. Wow, look at this, you guys. Cheers. Hey, hi. Hi. <laughs> the old Hollywood collar, the diamond collar, and you can shop those now. Full diamondy holiday collection up there as well as everything else is all on sale. Daily sales goals. Guys, look at this. <laughs> I want to buy this chandelier for my living room. Oh my god, you guys. <gasps> it's perfect. Oh, welcome home. I did a lot this year, uh, but honestly, I think the biggest thing that I crossed off the board this year was kind of an intangible one. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I put dice on my mood board last year. And honestly, I can say not only of my year last year, but I think of my life in general, I am so lucky to be able to say that if I died tomorrow, I would be okay with it because I am living my life the way that I believe life should be lived. I tried so many things. I said yes to so many things I usually would say no to. I had experiences that I truly 
once upon a time that only dreams. Hit 5,000 subscribers the other day, so thank you so much for subscribing. And that just went viral. I called it Broke Bench Tips. And uh, <laughs> what do you know? Now I'm speaking on the main stage of VidCon. <laughs> I used to dream about this. I used to dream about this talking to you guys. So hit the subscribe button. I'm so excited. You know, one of you guys commented earlier this year um, if I ever just cry thinking about my life. And the answer is yeah, all the time. Like I mentioned, I turned 30 this year. And I always write um, little lists of things that I learn over the years um, on every birthday. I had actually signed that letter with the same sentiment to my 30s, the time of my life. No matter how old you get, you're always a kid at heart. And uh, this year really was what dreams are made of. And as much as I'd like to take credit for that, um, it always comes back you. Nothing I get to do would be possible without you, you know? You're the reasons my mood boards come true every year. You're the reason I get to do anything at all. And um, most importantly, you're the reason I stay most inspired. I am from YouTube, hi! Do you want to be in my video? Hi! <laughs> thank you for inspiring me, and uh, thank you for letting me inspire you too. Oh my God. I got to be my mentor. Hi. It just melts my heart to see you guys make your own mood boards and chase your dreams and accomplish them. I just, oh, there's nothing I like to see more. And for my last thought of 2023, I'll leave you with a thought from 2016. Never give up on your dreams because it's never too late and anything you want in life can and will come true if you truly believe in it. So don't ever let life be anything less than everything you imagined it to be. Love you. Kisses till next time. Cheers to the time of our life. By the way, I would just like to point out, do you guys see this? You no, know, Erewhon is viral on TikTok and whatever, but y'all are fake fans. I was a fan of this when there was only one store in 2015. And literally one of my life goals was to be able to shop there. So just saying.